2020 marks the 100th anniversary of the historic Negro League of American Baseball, and you won't have to go far to explore its rich history and honor those who played the game. There's a museum right here in our region which tells the league's important story as part of America's favorite pastime. Let's take a stroll back in time. We are in the Hubert V. Simmons Museum of Negro Leagues Baseball, located at 10302 Grand Central Avenue in Owings Mills, Maryland. When you come in the door to the right, it's a ledger. It tells a story. On February the uh, 13th in 1920, Rube Foster and a group of folk got together and they organized the beginning and they planted the seed of Negro League Baseball. And being that this is the 100th anniversary, uh, we're celebrating throughout the year. On the second floor is a dedication to three African American females who played in the Negro League. And people are unaware of the fact that there were three African American women that played in the Negro League. What it means to me personally is the fact that women played. And that in itself was phenomenal. And to be a part of history in this way is just wonderful. I think the lesson is that women played an important role in history, not just the Negro League, but in American history, and continue today to play an important role. It's just a sense of sisterhood, the fact that there were women before my time that were out there doing exciting things. Jackie Robinson, everybody knows about Jackie, but they were players. Black, blue collar players, they played way before Jackie's time that people don't know about. Those are the ones who planted the seed. Those are the ones who started the uh, a revolution. I started out in the Independent League in 1955. I played from 1955 to 1960, so I had to go in the military. I played, started out with the Wilson All-Stars and making $10 a week. And indirectly, the Negro League was a big part in the Civil Rights Movement because they was doing all this peaceful stuff way before Martin Luther King started his peaceful marching. The Negro League ball players was traveling around through the country playing baseball peacefully. We played against a lot of the white teams and we showed that we were just as good. We could compete on the same level and they showed them that. So that's what people don't know. They don't, they don't understand that. That the, the big playing the game was equal. The Negro Leagues, uh, once upon a time, of course, it's our history and uh, part of American history. Not just Negro League history, but American history. And uh, it needs to be shared. So I implore you to come to the Hubert B. Simmons Museum of Negro League Baseball and learn about the history and especially do some research on the 100th anniversary of Negro League Baseball.